They started something, they followed through on it, and they presented it to peers, and they learned from that. My name is Dr. Larry Spears, and I'm the Executive Director of the Science Engineering Career of Houston. In real life, I'm a professor of chemistry, University of Houston downtown. But our primary goal is really just to encourage kids to learn science and engineering by doing it. So each one of these students will probably interact with at least 10 or 12 members of the community. Most all these people are working scientists and engineers from the various companies we have in the greater Houston region. That is a very unique opportunity for kids. That doesn't exist in every city of the United States, but it does here. And the schools are rallying around that. There's a lot of efforts in the schools themselves uh, to encourage students to enter STEM careers. So Science Fair is the largest uh, in the area. We reach more students than any other of these programs, uh, but there really are opportunities at every school to get involved in helping STEM education. What I like the most about Science Fair is becoming an expert on one subject, and I really find it an awesome experience. I learn so much, and I get to meet the greatest people, both in friends and judges. In the future is going to be highly dependent on people that have training in science, technology, engineering, and mathematics. That is a critical need, both today, but it's going to be a much more critical need in the future. The major advantage that this fair offers is an opportunity to do a complete educational package. They find a question to ask, and they ask that question. And then they go about setting up a model to investigate coming up with an answer to a question. And then comes the real learning process. The purpose of my project is to increase the performance of supercapacitors. In my project, I'm trying to see if we can harness usable electrical energy from mechanical vibrations. They know how to ask questions, they know how to follow through it, and they know how to sell what they've done. Now that, to me, is a tremendous bonus for any company that ever hires one of our students. More and more projects now you're going to see that we'll be dealing with alternate energy sources. There's a large percentage of the alternate energy companies that are actually headquartered here in the Great Eastern region. And that is going to continue to promote more students doing alternate type energy. While there are a lot of initiatives in Houston about STEM, the Greater Houston Partnership has been involved with a lot of them. The Science Fair has been identified as one of the most important. This Greater Houston Partnership Energy Collaborative Workforce Committee has the right idea. They tried to identify what they could do as a grassroots effort that had already proven to be successful and try to expand those initiatives and make sure that they survived, but not only survived, but prospered. I want to be an electrical engineer or a computer engineer, and I also really want to try to solve our energy crisis. When it comes to what I want to major in, definitely some type of engineering, either chemical, so I can research like different devices, or mechanical, so I can see how to integrate them onto a global scale. This is a unique advantage for kids to take. It's something that companies here need to be actively supporting because in the long run, they're all gonna to wanna to come back and live and work here.